Well, Leo, this is going to be a very dynamic week for you and astrologically, we're going to get into it. This is your weekly astrology overview and your weekly tarot card reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. It's your reading, so apply it to however you're ready to receive it. This message comes to you at exactly the right time, which is why I don't put any dates on it, but the astrology that we'll cover is from the 30th, December 30th through the 8th of January. That's when the astrology drops. When the vibrations finally reach you is all up to you. So um, whenever you hear the video, it's right. Uh, if you love these videos, know that there are 12. Each of the zodiac signs gets a week, weekly reading. So maybe you want to check out your moon sign. Maybe you want to check out your rising sign video. That would be awesome. But remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where I go live every single weekday and I do a general tarot card reading and live chat. And I hope that you guys will join me over there. Um, we have a lot of fun. Uh, this week is, it's not the easiest. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't blow smoke up your, you know what. It's not the easiest week, but I tell you, it, it's just tremendous. There's, there's such tremendous growth in the air for you. The two biggest aspects this week are a square to Chiron and a trine to Uranus, as well as a conjunction to Mercury retrograde. So there is just a lot of dynamic about thinking about the past, what it has meant to you reliving and experiencing that pain so that you are inspired to make change or that change looks really good to you. Once everything gets reviewed or things start coming up, you'll start to learn or remember things as they were, not things as we like to think of them. And there is a lot of reconciliation and making amends or at least inspiration to do so. It's almost like in some ways you are inspired to do better, be better, and make your life better. Because of, because of stuff that you've gone through, that can lead to gratitude and a humbled appreciation of life that no other configuration can really set up for you except to experience things not going perfectly, or at least be able to reflect on them since the moon is going to be conjunct Mercury retrograde. I mean, it's not, not the moon. And we gotta talk about that as well because the, the full moon in Cancer comes at the very end of this week. And the sun, your ruling dignitary, is going to be conjunct Mercury retrograde while this is happening. So, Mercury retrograde puts you in a reflective state of mind, especially the conjunction. It's almost like you absorb that reflective state of mind. And you might find yourself actually malfunctioning um, if you try to not go over things and not review things and not kind of see yourself almost in a retrospective. This could be like your life flashing before your eyes, not because of any injury, but just because of an awareness that all of a sudden happens to you to make you want to do things differently, want to change. And, and definitely there is a change that's happening. It's not a forced change. It's actually gentle, it's harmonious. The trying to Uranus and the North Node is saying you're ready to move forward. I think there's a sextile between the Sun and the South Node as well, which means getting things done and fully functioning or being inspired to function, fully embracing everything that you've learned and because you are, you are ready to move forward. Could there be some injury this week? There could be with a square to Chiron. I would watch out for your legs, especially any injuries to your legs. Um, would it be life-threatening? I don't think so. It would be something that could challenge you, but it would humble you. I, if I had to choose one word to summarize the astrology for this week, it would be humbling. 
And, and humility, humility leads to gratitude and gratitude leads to abundance. So you really are well on your way to a beautiful existence. This curious, if not um, conflicting week is going to lead to something extremely beautiful. Let's find out what the cards have for you. The first card that came out is the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands is about a lot of a heavy burden. So it's either something that you have been carrying for a long time or it's your mentality, taking on too much. But this is definitely something that has been bothering you, getting to you, weighing you down and making life more difficult for you. But like again, it could be your mentality of taking on too much. Have you taken on too much? And if so, this might be the first time in a long time that you admit it to yourself and that you see, wow, I can't juggle all this anymore. I don't want to. I want to make a change. I don't have to keep doing this to myself. I don't have to keep making it hard for myself to prove that I'm worth something. My value comes from a deeper place. And then we have starting fresh. And look, I, I want you to see the difference between these two cards because it's really important. This the image of the character in this card is so weighed down and burdened and carrying so much on their shoulders, right? Right? And then you have the Fool card. And the Fool is free. The Fool carries a knapsack on their back, nothing else. And yet, they're not alone. This guy's alone. Like, they're strained and they're weighed down. They're not alone. They attract, they're, there's attracting happiness. There's just a, a, attracting joy because they're light. There's a lightening of your load because you're allowing it. There's a getting rid of it and casting it aside. Look, the sun's out. It's shining. There's a happiness here. There's a freedom here. There's a relief here. It's also a message directly from the universe to you to say, this is the time to take a leap of faith in doing less, in doing less and appreciating more and also allowing responsibilities to fall off your shoulders and being okay with maybe sharing duties or responsibilities with somebody else. It doesn't all have to be on you all the time. It's interesting how ego can, can get you, right? There's a sense of if you think it's all about you all the time, not only do you crave attention, but you also take too much burdens. You know, the, the, the people who try to fix everything themselves and do everything themselves are actually very egotistical. It's not coming from a good place. It's saying, I'm the only one that can get this done correct. I'm the only one that I can trust. So there's a real isolating energy in that mentality of, of taking on all this work by yourself. But here, when you get it off your shoulders and you leave space, it's open yourself up to have other people join you. Leave room for other people in your life. Leave room to let them join you and let them contribute as well. So we have Queen of Cups here, which is unconditional free flowing love. And it's also telling us moon, so full moon. And it's by the end of this week, there's a full moon in Cancer. And this card always represents Cancerian energy to me anyway. So there is a sense of robust abundance and feeling like full when it comes to your family you know when it comes to those things that may not make you profit but they make you happy also a sense of a very loving could be a feminine in your life that is pisces cancer scorpio somebody who is just really filled with love unconditional love or is making you or inspiring you to feel unconditional love and value it's a new fresh start and it could be a lot of responsibilities that you are taking on but in some ways i think you felt lighter than you i think you'll feel lighter especially by the end of this week after that full moon kind of pops and releases all the energy you will feel lighter this by the end of this week than you have in quite some time and then we have the judgment card and the judgment card is it's like you're given a second chance like you're given a second chance at life you've been selected you've been chosen you've been found worthy by the gods so this really is a sense of yes you it's your time um rising rising after a dark night of the soul really rough experiences and you'll start to feel 
like all that dirt and being lifted off of your chest. You'll start to feel the resurrection of you, your optimism, optimism returning. This is also a sense of you're gonna be happy and start to realize you're really glad you took a leap of faith, especially, well, where your heart is taking, you're glad you took a leap of faith and you followed your heart. And you may be very glad that you took a leap of faith in a specific someone. Um, or maybe it's just allowing yourself to be loved again or to prioritize love again. Let's let's get a moon card because we really need one. This is this is a full moon coming, and I think it's important. Now, full moon happens every single month. They're always they're always that's what a full moon is. It's its opposition to the sun. But this is a full moon in Cancer, and you'll be able to make a decision, and you you will feel the lightening and relief of this burden by that time. We're gonna get deeper into what this decision is. Oh, this is so cute. I really love this energy for you. As soon as I saw this energy, I was reading the charts and I was writing it down and I was like, I love this energy for Leo. There's a piece about it that's almost new. It's a mature piece. It's a, a new sense of rightness. We have a new start is coming, new moon. So maybe you got information, that maybe this is specifically a new moon, but I don't think so. I think this is you making room for something new or turning over a new leaf on this full moon. I think this is just a, I don't think this is, is about the timeline. I think this is about your mentality. This is like, let something new start. This is a new beginning. And we're gonna get deeper into what it is, but I think most of you already know. Please do comment below and let me know what this new start is, um, if you feel like sharing. Or maybe just you wanna share your thoughts on it or your thoughts on this energy. I wanna get into some details, please. First, let's go back. I don't see any cards that have come out in the past, which is telling me that you're done. You're completely okay with being over where you used to be. Because where you used to be is just not where you even want to be anymore. So this is the peace that I'm feeling. And then we have in the future, we'll, we'll get something to come out. Let, let's, let's, let's definitely do it. But I want to clarify and get some detail. What is this oppression? What, are, what is this nine of wands, please? What is Leo... What is the stress? Where was the stress coming from? Um, trying to be the best. Trying to be the best, working hard, making it your goal to be the best, to be the most exceptional, sensational, um, to, to uh, maybe be rich, uh, be recognized, be seen. It's almost like that was the goal that was set out and so you were putting a lot of pressure on yourself to be that or to feel like you were important so what is the fool card what is this new start new beginning where is this decision coming from we have five of pentacles which is the chiron square it's the suffering it's almost like maybe a the money wasn't good there was an absolute failure Right? A sense of, okay, I'm going to either accept the failure and move on from it or I'm going to sit here and wallow. Now, you don't wallow well, so this is a sense of moving on. When I say kind of like bankrupt or going broke, it doesn't always just mean money. It could mean energy. All right? The square to Chiron could also be draining you a lot, but maybe there was just a bunch of disappointment, right? A disappointment maybe even in a sense of yourself for like the money just didn't ever make up or it, in a sense, even if you were a millionaire, the money just never fulfilled you. It never seemed like enough. And of course not because Leos don't just want money. They don't just want fancy clothes. They love that shit. They roll around in that shit, but you guys don't want just that. You, you know, being loved is very important to you. Cultivating and growing and taking care of your family very important to you. So it seemed like as hard as you work and maybe as successful as you were, because it does look like you achieved some form of success and monetary uh, resource, you know, like tangible success, you just felt empty. It could also mean you lost it all. 
I don't know if some of you are experiencing that, right? It could be actually having to declare bankruptcy and finally clear out the bank and start fresh, right? Or sell things and get rid of things that just didn't have value to you anymore. There is a real purging energy here. But then we had, it's, I think it's because your desires changed. It's like reaching your goals. Once again, this is Cancerian energy. It keeps coming up. So there's a lot that comes up around this full moon. A lot of progress that's made. Maybe it's building your family or it's the family that you really want to focus on now. Um, this could be a Cancer or an Aquarius that has really changed your life and how you see the world. But it's, it's made you different in a way that you like yourself better. And I think that there's progress that's going to be made, especially if you were aspiring to start building a family or you wanted to do something for your family or help your family or something with the fourth house, maybe even friends making progress and building new connections could even be building a new sense of popularity or social notoriety. But see, I don't think that that's necessarily your goal. I think I think you you're aiming higher there. These are two major arcana. Like this is just a direction that's making you feel so right because it's mostly it's faded. Let's see this other card. We have Knight of Cups, so an offer, an extension of love, um, pursuing love or um, making an advancement, a loving advancement, telling somebody how much you care about them, them telling you, somebody getting engaged or asking for your asking for their hand in marriage or just outwardly expressing love and your excitement and joy. Love is really, really like prominent in this reading. A new start is coming. Well, let's see. What is this judgment card? What was the judgment that was made? A nine of swords suffering healing maybe it's a sense of i don't know a family somebody that's in your family cancer or aquarius it's almost like you want to fulfill you wanted to show them how much you love them or maybe their loss or worries or concerns about them is what helped to inspire you to make this change to not do things or maybe to do things differently or to take this turn in your life. Now, this could be nine of swords. It could be illness. It could be sickness. It could be loss. It's always stress. It's always worrying. It's always staying up at night. And so something was really getting you. It just, it was on your mind. And it's through that, that pain that you changed. We have, what do we have? This new start that's coming. What is this? Queen of Wands. Yeah, feeling better. It's like taking control of your own life. That's kind of what this looks like. Taking control of your own life and deciding to enjoy life more and leave more room for pleasure and creativity and experimentation and having the confidence to know you're good enough to do so. Um, this is taking back your own sense of personal authority without getting so trapped or bogged down in all that crazy shit or all those materialistic cues that make you valuable, which they don't really at all. It's like your whole value system System has in some way shifted or changed from the tangible to the intangible. Um, what is the judgment card? A tower. You didn't expect something to happen. It was a tower moment that changed, that forced a change on you. Okay. Um, something to do with competitive or five of wands means there was a lot of criticism or a lot of things in your way or... Um, it's a lot of bullshit that made you, I don't know, didn't, it doesn't feel right, right? What is this tower? What is this tower? It's like you're tired of the haters. I'm done. It's almost, that's the fool card. It's like realizing what actually makes you happy and jumping into it. Or your wish, oh, an actual wish coming true. And so it's like, it's almost like you were waiting for a sign or waiting like for something to, not waiting, but like, it's like you needed, you needed that push, right? To just jump into happiness. You're choosing happiness. You're choosing faith in happiness and your right to happiness. That's what you're choosing. You're kind of all done with the craziness and the crap 
especially any anybody like all this competition that you always felt like you had to do shady pines no shady i'm just this is a this is the tower card it's the golden girls deck it's almost like it could have been an end like there was it's like you're done competing you're done making this a contest this isn't about a contest this is about am i happy or am i not happy Let's go to the extended. This is a good time to roll over there. I will see you guys there.